Chapter 10, Bricks and Mortar. Let's dive in. What is up, boys? Welcome back. To some more the quarry. Here we go. What the, what the fuck? Why am I on top of a fucking tree? You're a werewolf, bro. That's why. Laura! You geek. Blood. blood, yes, that is blood. How the hell am I gonna get down? Maybe like that. Has to answer. Alrighty, Maxi boy. Why does he turn back? It's still like night time with a full moon and shit. Why is he still... Oh yeah, I think uh, the other chick took him. <laughs> okay. Gotta find Laura. Looking good there, buddy. Looking real good. <laughs> what is that? Told him we should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Yeah, for real. All this would have been sorted, bro. But we're here now, in chick's clothes. Damn boy, you look sexy as hell. <laughs> well, let's keep moving. Don't really know how long we got left. I thought the last episode was going to be the last episode, but turns out we got a lot more to do. We got to find Silas. Walking through the woods. Okay, Max. Let's get it, boy. What the fuck is that? Put it on. It suits your outfit, boy. She must have come back. <laughs> Bro, he's looking worse by the minute. Okay. I wish we could speed these like segments up, to be honest. Interesting. We gotta stay. It's better for him to be on the island, surrounded by water. We gotta stay, right? I think that's one of the best choices we've made so far. <laughs> I hope, anyway. Shit. Right, the gang's back. That's good. The table. Help me. <clears throat> okay. Well. Can't get much worse than it already is, right? Hell no. Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? I don't know they water. don't like water, remember? Right. There we go. Right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. Sit on a little boat or something, we're good. We're good now. <clears throat> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back the first chance they get. Great news, okay. All right, we gotta get a vantage point. Bro, she's a little badass. Okay. 
Well, the best vantage point would probably be from like a view, I guess. So let's go upstairs. Plus, let's not go down in the basement. This looks pretty good. Is that? Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? Uh, the big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right, right. Hmm. hmm. Cut the windows. No. no. Jeez, I'm see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Okay. I thought that was something over there. It's just like the reflection of the light. Okay. Moving on. Ignore me. There we go. Do you not walk up there, Caitlin? What's wrong with you, bro? Jesus. Okay. The High Priestess. This ain't a great vantage point, is it, really? Many when you can't see dick. I'll go through there. No. No, can't thread the needle. But I can't see fuck all. Right, where am I going? Fuck out the way, one hand. Right, what am I doing here? I think there was only a collectible up here, this guy. Let's dip. Like a motherfucker. Okay, 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 okay. I've got no idea where we're going. Any idea, Dylan, my boy? Oh, I'll follow you. Is that? How long has this guy been here? A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. Yeah, true. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's prepare. Settle down. Get ready for war. You know I'd be. Every dust can dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. <laughs> We're here to lead the way. Fuck meets for life. We're proud to proud say. say. Shout at Strat and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. We're hacketeers. Yeah. Two months and you never learn the words. We're hacketeers, brother. Saddle up, here they come. Oh, brother, he's coming down the chimney. Chimney, chimney. <laughs> chimney. <laughs> Showtime, motherfuckers. Showtime. Just blam them in the fucking teeth. Boom, boom. That shotgun. And see how they like it. Come on, Abby. Keep it together. Not long till morning. <gasps> She's in the secret sex room, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. Wild. I don't want her to die, bro. She's back. She can't die. What the? Hello. Nice to see ya. Just 
run. It's already on you, bro. For real. Um, run? Why the fuck would we wait, bro? Let's go, let's go. Who's waiting there? For real. Go, go, go. Oh my god. I gotta help her. I gotta help her. Yeah, how? Um, beam. Could be stupid for beam, yeah. Why not? We got this, my dear. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha, eat shit. Dickhead. Hide, bro. Hide, 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 hide. Under the bed, maybe? I don't know. Fuck off. Sorry, shit. <laughs> Oh, we got out alive, we're good. I don't care about a path, to be honest, as long as we're okay. Really? <laughs> no. oh, okay. uh, Get some silver. Stab him with a spoon or something. Fuck. Okay, we're there. Hey Dylan, <laughs> how you doing? Fuck, I don't know. Freezer. Lock it in the freezer. I don't know who that is. Oh, we got it. I don't give a fuck who that was anyway. They can fuck off. I don't know if that was Emma or Jacob or Nick or who the fuck. I don't care. Fuck them boys. Fuck them all. Um, 
So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. <laughs> Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. Yeah. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. Okay. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Found yeah, us. I think that's gonna kill it, right? Where did he go? He can't have just disappeared. Probably gotta be nearby. Okay. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Maybe. You okay, buddy? Are we there yet? <laughs> You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Oh my god. I love Ryan. Alrighty. Over here. Got some blood. We're tracking him. Tracking this boy. Leads through there. Okay. Sounds good. Ish, I guess. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. It's around there. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? What? Wait a minute. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? I mean, I guess. Let's fucking do this. Let's do it, boy. Good team. Alright, team. Let's go, crew. Why would she shoot him? This dude's been good. He's a nice guy. Ish, anyway. As nice as you can be. All this shit going on. <laughs> okay, go, team. Go, team. Go, team. Why do I don't keep saying that? Hackett Woods. Let's go, boy. Let's God go. Damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Shut the fuck up. Oh, didn't do justice. You know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was. I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman 
the old woman, she was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. That's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the rum tunnels. It's Eliza Voris. Silas's mother. I think. That's terrifying. Who was she? Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Yikes. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? Just tell us, fuck knuckle. You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. Not on purpose, bro. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. Come on, Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. Great. That's why you've been hunting him. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Right. Some hunter you are. <laughs> oh, on we go then. Let's hunt this motherfucker. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Okay. Oh. Ryan? Oh. Shit. I'm sorry, that was... Close. We must be close. Did you both see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Same. <laughs> Thank you, boys. I think I'm going to end it here, though, fellas. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you for more of the quarry next time. So, tell some guys have a great day. I'll see you again in the next one.